happened last September, about the end of the month. About the end of the month. So this time of the year in Utah, winter hasn't come yet. It hasn't started to snow in the mountains, but it's starting to get cold. And the leaves on the trees, they're starting to change. So on this morning in, well, late September of this last year, one of my hiking buddies, that's a friend, one of my hiking buddies, his name is Cragen. You're gonna see Cragen and, and uh, you're gonna see how to spell his name. Cragen and I got up early in the morning. In fact, I met him at his house in the south end of the valley at 4.30 in the morning. Picked him up and we drove to Utah County. We drove up down I-15 and at Lehigh, we turned east. We drove up American Fork Canyon, and after about 10 miles, we turned up into the mountain. The mountain is Timpanogos, Timpanogos. You're going to see how that's spelled here in just a minute. Timpanogos is a pretty famous mountain. It's one of the largest mountains on this Wasatch Front. It's a huge, huge mountain, and it's kind of famous. One of the reasons it's famous is that the actor Robert Redford lives kind of on the mountain. He lives up there. He's got this big old house. I've been to it a few times. So he lives on this mountain, but he lives lower, lower down on the mountain. He lives in a ski resort called Sundance. Oh, Sundance. Of course, this is how Sundance got its name because Robert Redford, the actor, he became famous because he was in a famous movie called Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1969. So everything about him now is Sundance because he played the Sundance Kid in that famous movie. Anyway, Craig and I, we drove and we got up to the trailhead. Our goal was to hike and climb to the top of Mount Timpanogos, which is 11,771 feet in elevation. So you're gonna get to see our journey. Cragen and Sam and our adventure starting early in the morning. We got to the trailhead about six o'clock in the morning. And since it was a nice day and it was toward the end of the hiking season in the high mountains where you can walk and not have to go through snow, everybody wanted to go to the top of Mount Timpanogos. So we thought we would get a place to park. You know, the parking lot was filled. And in fact, people were parking alongside of the road a half mile down the road. So we had to walk, we had to park a half mile away from the trailhead and then walk. In fact, it might have been a mile. Mm -hmm. Cars everywhere. So we're walking up the road, paved road. We get back to the trailhead and we start hiking, but there are two bathrooms there, so we figured we better use that we had to get